Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode number 18 of Let's Play Game of Thrones for Crusader Kings 2. We still have a few people that don't like us. Lady Wilde here. Who is du jour part of the Stoneway Duchy, which I hold. I just think it's not worth trying to have this land separated. We have too many people that don't like us. Everybody seems to desire that duchy. Bunch of greedy bastards. Is that like a permanent thing? Everyone is just, they all desire more? Like this county, yeah, it's a, it's a level 4 castle. It's pretty damn good. But... Here, this guy doesn't have any wife. I'm his heir. I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna give this guy Ronwood, and now I'm gonna make him the Duke. So now I've got somebody that likes me, and I am apparently not his heir. I was a second ago, but now I'm not. Okay, well, whatever. I'd rather have somebody that likes me. Stone, Dorn Stone Dornish, Faith of the Seven. And you, would you please convert? How about you go improve relations with yourself? Where do you live? Where's your Where's your land? Here, go improve relations with yourself. Go talk to yourself a bit, so I can convert you. Oh, apparently I can never do that. Costs a million piety. Sweet. Nope, not a million. Just a hundred thousand. And she can't be an unreformed pagan. <laughs> okay, how about we send my Septon, who thinks I'm his rival, to proselytize there. Maybe he can convert her. I don't want any, don't want any of that Ralor stuff. My current master at arms is better than this one. But this guy's landed, so I'm going to take him anyway, because he'll be worth more. It's better to have him like me than some courtier. My master of coin, same type thing. Who, where, where do you live? Lemonwood? That's part of my du jour duchy, I believe, so I'm not going to be able to pawn her off anywhere. I think I will take her. My maester. My septon is terrible. This character here wants to get married. So let's go to diplomacy and arrange a marriage for him if possible. Here, take Wyla. Wait a minute, is Wyla the one that I've fallen in love with? Yeah, she's my lover. We need her to make a baby for me. You can't have Wyla. Sorry. I'll give you a 51 year old. Damn it. Well, we're down to just one county now, but the realm likes us a whole lot more. And I'm, I've been kind of tyrannical. Trying to get money. Hopefully more people come this year. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lots of people don't want to come. Assholes. It's not cool. Basic defenses are now built. Large liege levies, good. Okay, so we're getting a lot of support now in our laws. Which should mean that the, the strength of the realm is at a peak right now. Yeah, we've got 18,000 men. Oh, 
I am not diligent or ambitious, so I think I will risk going on a hunt to try to get a better trait or two. We can righteously imprison Cercletus here. What is it that he's done? Leader of a plot. Well, let's try. I mean... Should I dare do this thing again? Let's do it. Oh, that nine diplomacy is apparently for him. Why do I have a regent? Trial before the court. Castos, who's failed me once before. Oh, I see. So he gets the plus nine diplomacy. Kind of offsets the fact that he's in the dungeon. He made a poor case. Castos, you, you're not cool, dude. You, you need to do a better job here. Good, he's guilty. Good, good, good. I can either have his head on a spike, send him to the wall. He will walk through the streets naked. I will be the better person and release him. Let's send him to the wall. I didn't incur tyranny for it, did it? Good. My prince, his grace, King Thomas Lomas, has seen fit to name Garlan Tyrell Lord Paramount of the Reach. He, his sons and grandsons, shall hold and enjoy this honor until the end of time. Okay, so Lord Garland Tyrell. He's 45. He's of House Tyrell. This is a brother to Loras Tyrell and Lady Marjorie. Loras is already dead. He died in the dungeons. And Lord Willis Tyrell is also dead. Let's see where Lady Marjorie ended up. Now in the in the movie or the TV series in the books, Lady Marjorie is the one that ended up marrying. Um, she she did marry Lord Renly Baratheon, and then Lord Renly was, actually did she get married to him? I don't think she actually married him. She just started sleeping with him. Well, she started sleeping with her own brother because they're weird. Kind of. I mean, she offered to sleep with Loras and him because Lord Renly Baratheon was gay. But, um, no, so she was betrothed to Joffrey. Instead, she's married Lord Florian of Norcross, who is a reachman of House Norcross. So Lady Marjorie did not really kind of rise as high in this game. How sad. Grand Hunt is over. Nothing really happened. Okay. Oh, that's why my... That's why I had a regent. I knew that. What now? You want me to help you kill Sir Mark of the Iron Throne. If I had a button so I knew who the heck you were talking about, that would be great. Since I don't, I'm going to say no. My wife is now 42 and still not getting pregnant. Maybe... These loyalists are not nearly as supportive as they used to be. Come on, why won't anyone help me kill this wife? And I have not, no, 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 no piety. I can't even get divorced. Nor can I afford to have her assassinated. I just, I guess I just have to hope she dies. Or I could just throw her in prison. Could make her the court jester. Hmm. I don't know if that'd really do anything. Lady Myra is no longer my master of laws. Suspicious accident. I wonder who killed her. Could it have been her daughter? Nymeria? 
Okay. She thinks I'm an infidel. She's also of house... She believes in Ralor. The tyranny penalty is now at negative 35. It was at 40. So it does go away over time, apparently. And I guess the way you tell is by hovering over the tyrant. It tells you minus 0.35, minus 35 opinion. So you lose prestige per month, and I guess it ticks down or something. It's curious that it went down by 5 points when... I had two tyrannical actions, each one costing me 20. So they didn't drop off, it's just ticking down at 5. So that's, that's kind of interesting. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Now she doesn't like me, and I've lost my good Master of Laws. Let's go with this guy. And let's try to work on the strongest person in the realm's opinion of me. Let's find me. Right there. We have 13% of the strength of the Iron Throne. My strongest vassal is actually the one that loves me, my Master of Whispers. And then... Lady Nymeria is very weak, so we don't really need to worry about her. Let's worry more about Serena of Brimstone. So she... is this one. I'm guessing our improvements have worn off. So go... Go talk her up a bit, make her like us again. Of course we'll travel to your feast. Nope, you're gonna live in there forever, Sinel. How dare you plot against me. Thank you for having us, King. We'll go on another hunt. Spending almost all of our money on hunts now. A Master of Whispers loves me tremendously. I think we can afford to piss him off by a little bit. My, eh, no, we'll take the prestige. Our hunting party has cornered a rather large bear. Um, these two people don't think my wife, in fact, loses opinion of me for being craven. And that was the whole hunt. Still haven't replenished the full levy. Takes a long time. I can actually imprison him over this. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, wow. This guy is uh, of House Martell. He has 280 gold. I can exile him, and I don't see anything about tyranny. Let's check. I'm at negative 35. If we exile Pate... Good. Just seized his money and sent him to the wall. Did we send him to the wall? No, he went up here. Huh. I would have expected him to go to the wall. We shall hold a feast then. To celebrate with his money. Is there no one that would ever help me plot to kill my own wife? What else can we do? Fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of the Iron Throne. Kill Lady Jane of my father's land. What am I, her? I'm her heir. So messed up. I wouldn't mind inheriting Midlore Point and her money. Let's try killing her. Does anybody want me want her dead? Probably not. Of course not. It's far too much to ask. For somebody to actually try to help me. See the High Lordship of Rainwood granted to a new ruler by somebody's loyalty. Why would we want this granted to somebody else?
Well, he's more powerful than I am. I guess that makes sense. King Lomas wants to help me with that. Sounds good. I think we only need one supporter, right? Yeah. And he's the he's the liege. Oh, here we go. Well, apparently he immediately left the realm, and now I'm telling him to go to the wall. Yeah. So hopefully here, King Lomas will um, will grant that uh, thing to a new ruler. And since he's the supporter, I, I can't imagine him not acting on it. Though I am sure I shall curse your name until the end of times, I will agree to your demand in the interest of peace. So, Lady Lord Paramount, his opinion of me is decreased by 50 for 6 years. And what is it that he's given away? I've succeeded with the plot to see the High Lordship of Rainwood given to a new ruler. Okay, so he actually was just forced into giving away the High Lordship of Rainwood. He has a strong claim on it, and it looks like he... So he was kind of incited into giving it away, and now he's immediately attacking in the du jour war over the Rainwood. <laughs> so we're causing them to fight each other. It's kind of funny. Yes, yes, so one, two, three people. The county of Gaston Grey has converted to the Rallor faith. That's not good. I don't want that. Come on, you stupid septum. You're terrible. He needs to die. He's so bad. Why can't I plot to do anything to him? I need a better guy so we can convert this Ralor stuff. What is this crap? Not cool. What to do with all of our money? Um. <laughs> Castle Town, it is. Okay, this is a good spot to wrap it up, I think. I will see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.